Thank you so much for joining me. This is Mr. Boyd with the Virtual Academy. We're here just kind of sharing the ins and outs of Canvas um, to help you better understand the learning management system that our second through 12th graders will be using. So if you look um, on the page that I have here, this is just our homepage for one of our courses. It happens to be our ninth grade world literature teacher, Ms. Hustler's Canvas page. So I'm going to quickly go through each of these pieces. Um, your son or daughter will be enrolled in a Canvas orientation course or Canvas training, excuse me, tra Canvas training course prior to the school year starting. Just to kind of get an idea of like how it works. Uh, it won't be anything really crazy. It's just going to be something to kind of get their feet wet a little bit. So if you look really quickly, you'll see um, modules, syllabus, and grades. Those are going to be the main things. Here on the home page, you're going to see a number of different things. First, you'll see a to-do list, and we'll talk a little bit about that. You're also going to see some different sections. You're going to see modules, objectives, office hours, and then some Zoom links. Also, the Zoom schedule. Come back up here to syllabus. You're going to see um, in syllabus, you'll see a little bit of a... Um, summary of the course, as well as major units and texts that students are going to be using, as well as rules and policies and expectations and then grading policies, late work, and then a course summary that goes down further. It kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what the course is going to be all about. Then you go to modules, and modules is going to be that, that electronic notebook that you're going to have so uh, for this particular class, you'll see that for week eight, which we're in week eight right now of the marking period, you'll see that there are notes um, for the week. And so just like a cooking recipe, it's very important that you follow it um, step by step from first to last. And so it's important to do those notes for tribalism and res resistance first. And then Monday and Wednesday is when this class meets this week. And so you'll see that there's a video that you need to watch and then there's some assignments, whether you're advanced or on level. Um, and then you'll keep continue to go through the week. So as I said before, you are meeting in your live Zoom sessions with Ms. Hostler, but there is some asynchronous work, and this is what I'm talking about. So you have a video, you have an introduction to the Holocaust, and so that work becomes asynchronous, but there's lots of opportunities to get help from Ms. Hostler during the week and even during the day. So we have grades as well. And so this is just a test student. As I said before, we will see kind of the weight breakdown here, journals, quizzes, classwork, and tests. But you'll kind of see that everything is arranged by due date. So you have the due dates here. Um, and then you have the name of the assignment, what kind of assignment it is, whether it's a journal, a quiz, a classwork assignment. You'll see the, the status, is it missing? What is the score? So again, like I said, this is just a, a sample student, but you'll see it down at the bottom um, where it'll show up with the number of points. Um, over here, you have the calendar view. So the calendar view is going to be, um, you know, one way that you can see what assignments are due when. Um, you also have the agenda view. And that agenda view kind of shows us um, by day what is due. Um, you can click this to see, you know, if there's different, there's obviously going to be more than just one course here. So you'll be able to click which one you want to see with what assignments are due for which day. So that's um, what I'll share for our, our high school and middle school courses, uh, high school specifically, and I will be sharing more videos for other levels. So thanks so much for joining us and tune back in.